don't we talk about some of the masks that people wear? Like right now, I'm wearing a medical procedure mask. You are too. A very common mask. I think they're comfortable. Do you like yours? I do like it. And I think one thing to keep in mind, if you look at how these are made, and specifically the medical mask, there's actually three layers in here. And they're meant to be breathable, and they're meant to be comfortable. And so if you find that you're a little bit uncomfortable wearing one type of mask, and Dr. McDonald's about to go over some of the other types of masks, I do encourage you to try different types of masks. And if you really are finding some of these other things a little hot or heavy, um, try some of these lighter weight uh, surgical procedure masks, and I found them very comfortable. And that's what they're designed to be, designed to be worn all day long. So let's talk about some of the different masks that are out there. This one is called an N95 mask. So an N95, the N by the way stands for not resistant to oil. It, it, this is something I wear when I'm in the hospital seeing a patient who is coughing or sick. In other words, this mask does provide source control, but the main reason this mask is used is to protect me as a physician from a patient who might be contagious. So an N95 like this is a pretty good mask and it's great, but this is a medical grade N95 mask and I wanna distinguish that from a construction grade N95 mask. Now, I like this mask. This one, not so much. This is an N95 for construction purposes and you'll notice it has an exhalation valve on it right here. So the original design for this was for someone who was doing some sanding, some carpentry, some painting, and they needed to have some protection for themselves. But the exhalation valve is so the air escapes that. Notice there isn't an exhalation valve on the medical grade N95 mask here. The problem with this mask, if you're out in public wearing this mask is, it's giving you protection, but it's actually focusing your exhaled particles on the people around you. So I wouldn't recommend you wear this mask out in public. Not a good idea. Um, Dr. Chen, any other thoughts about the N95 with an exhalation valve? Yeah, totally agree with you. I will say for the medical N95 masks, I know they look kind of simple, it looks like sort of a cloth mask, but these things are actually marvels of engineering in my opinion. I mean, there are you know thousands of interwoven microfibers there, and what happens is essentially it's the virus is filtered out as it goes into this. So these masks are actually, I mean, they're incredibly constructed, and you know, we there's a shortage of them, which is why in general we're reserving them for the medical workforce. A fine mask and been around a long time, we're glad to have them. And this one is sized to fit me. I've been fit tested for this one. This is called the 3M regular size mask. This is the same type of mask, but for someone who has a smaller face, uh, this would be the mask they would do. So it's fit tested. However, you don't really need to have an N95. If you're out in public, you know, medical procedure mask is fine. However, a cloth mask might be what you prefer. These are very comfortable. And you know, as Dr. Chan, as you talked about, you know, finding the right mask you, for me, it's a little bit like finding socks. I'm pretty particular about my socks. So I had to figure out which one's like. Now I happen to like this cloth mask. It's the Mets mask. Now if you're wondering why I have two, I wear this one when the Mets are playing at home, this one when the Mets are playing away when I'm home because I have a little variety in my life. But these are just fine. They're made of multiple layers. You can see here there's white on this side, a little layer in between with the cloth. Very comfortable. Important though for the mask to cover the nose and the mouth. Dr. Chen, why do we have to cover that nose? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you want to be careful about wearing masks, right? So the entire point of wearing a mask is to protect the nose and the mouth when you breathe in. And so if you don't mind for a second, we do see a lot of people wearing their masks like this, sometimes around their neck, but this is, this is not going to work. You might as well really not be wearing a mask at all, um, right, if you're going to wear it like this. So really encouraging people to wear it correctly. Make sure it's pinched above the nose, it's covering your nose and your mouth. Um, and this is proper mask wear. You know, one of the things I think about too is if you really want to spread a lot of virus at one point, just sneeze. But if you sneeze wearing a mask, you've contained your sneeze. If you sneeze and your, and your mask is down there, you're just propagating virus. So other masks that we're not too thrilled about, I do like Star Trek, but this is the Gator style mask. This is my Commander Data Star Trek mask. This is my Captain Picard uh, Gator mask. So I bought these early in the pandemic before the research came out and showed we had some challenges with these. Now, these are one layer, they're very thin. It's kind of interesting, my, my son Christopher was wearing one of these, hadn't shaved that day, and you can see whiskers. And if, you, if a whisker can fit through the mask, the particles are gonna drive right through here. So really, it turns out these, these single layer gator masks aren't that effective at source control. Dr. Chen, what are your thoughts on these gator style masks? Yeah, there's been some evidence about this that's been published, and what happens is with these lighter sort of um, gator style masks is when someone coughs or breathes or sneezes, what happens is that the particles actually go through, and we think actually they're actually, they may be worse than not wearing a mask, because what happens is the droplets actually splay out even more. So you get more dispersion, and it's, it's actually creating more of an airborne 
um, and dispersion. And, and this has been shown in science, so it's almost better not to wear a gator mask than no mask at all. So we definitely encourage one of the other types. What about the bandana? I didn't bring a bandana with me today, but what about that bandana style mask? Do you have any thoughts on that? I think they're, I mean, they're not quite as good as the other masks. So really, you know, if you're gonna wear a mask, you know, the surgical procedure masks like we're wearing or the cloth masks, um, and in certain situations, healthcare workers, the N95s. I mean, the medical procedure mask, I like this one because it's used for what it's designed for. I procured these through a major online retailer. They're actually much more affordable. You know, and I don't know about you, but I keep mine around for a day or so, then I throw it away. And I, you know, they do last. Um, but I think you know you can keep them as long as you want. But after a day or two for me, I just get a new one. They're not that expensive. 